Hey there and welcome to another Day Does. Today we are checking out the wonderful world of a motion device and this song is The Infinite Wave. This is a sponsored video. The sponsor of the video is going to pop up here. What do I do now? It's over here somewhere now. Yeah, over here somewhere. Uh, so thank you for supporting the channel. Always greatly appreciated. Uh, it's a long video, so I'm kind of ready for it. It's bloody warm here in the UK, so um, cold beer tonight, not coffee. But yeah, a 21 minute video. So I don't do long videos. And the reason I'll explain why, generally. I don't ever just sit and listen to music. I'm always doing things. So it's fine having a song on and just getting on and doing stuff. So just to sit here with nothing else doing it. Because it'd be rude for me to go, right, let's do a reaction. And then just sit here scrolling through my phone, checking emails, going, uh huh, uh huh. Like that. Uh, I don't, don't want to do that. So I want to pay attention to what's going on. So, um,. Yeah, let's see. If if I find myself getting bored and distracted and not getting into the song, that'll be a problem. But I'm gonna see. It. I, I yeah. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm open-minded. I'm hoping this is gonna take me on a magical mystery journey. But who knows? Uh, let's count it in. Get on with it. Three, two, one. Thank 
Okay, there we go. Motion device and the infinite waves. The first positive bit of news from my point of view is I didn't really notice the time on there. So I really, I, I probably, the first time I looked at what the time was, was maybe about 10 minutes in, uh, which is pretty good going for me. And it wasn't from a case of, okay, how, how much longer have I got to go? I was just curious about where it was in the song, where did it feel, etc. So, uh, yeah, it was cool, and it actually didn't feel like it dragged or there was any lull points in there. Uh, this, I liked the intro, so we've got the idea, I guess, from what I've been told, is the song is just about uh, birth, life, dying, and then uh, meant to be reincarnation. I didn't really get the reincarnation bit there. I heard the ocean at the end, uh, but I guess it's down to what you believe. If you believe there's an afterlife reincarnation, I honestly don't know what I believe, so I can't really comment on that. Um, really good descriptive lyrics, uh, really kind of explaining the, 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 the basically the, I was going to say the circle of life, but then that depends if you believe in the reincarnation. So if you're working on the concept of reincarnation, yes, the circle of life concept. Uh, so I thought that was very good. Love the way the different attitude of the, the, uh, the instrumental composition how that was really doing well to tell a story very it's very emotional it also had this great repetition of the same chord progression uh throughout and this was just helped kind of by changing up the style of that chord progression it helped kind of take you on the journey whilst almost being an infantile chord progression in different style then it became a harder as, as the person grew older um, I really liked the lyrical elements of the talking about the old getting older. Um, I'll come back to that in a minute. But then the overall structure of the song, I also also getting vibes of things like Night Wishes, The Great Show on Earth. There were some definite storytelling elements in there. Where I was almost expecting like a voiceover bit to come over when there were some of the piano pieces going on. Um, so that was very cool. Uh, and the reason I wanted to talk about the, the, the bit about death and stuff was it's... Um, so I'm sitting here now in my coming to my mid forties. There'll be people that watch this that will be younger. There'll be people that are older. But what I guess is how your mind changes, what you think about things. So when when I was in my teens, I was thinking about what I was going to do when I left school, get a job, earn loads of money, it'd be cool, be a be a big rock star, play tour, etc., etc. Then I was in my twenties and I was like, I'm earning money to to buy a property, but more importantly, I'm still going to be a big rock star, yada yada yada. And then you hit your thirties, and I was like. Not going to be a rock star anymore. Uh, not good enough or just not uh, driven enough, etc, etc. So I was kind of like, yeah, then it's about the career. And now then you get into your 40s and then you go, I haven't really achieved that much up to now. And I'm already at the halfway point in your life. And that's when you start realising what have you got to show for being on this planet. Uh, and that's something that goes through my head now pretty much a daily basis is what is it I have achieved today? If I'm just getting up, going, doing my job, coming home, watching telly, and eat, sleep, repeat, etc. What, what, why? I'm not doing anything. I'm not achieving anything. So um, it's all about, I guess, not living each day like it's your life, but living each day with a purpose, I guess. That purpose could just be for that particular day to chill, relax uh and get your mind in a good place or it could be to achieve something so um i know for tomorrow is my one day off this week and so i want to spend it with my wife we're going to go out and actively go out and just enjoy nature and just see stuff and just try to basically a life of experiences tomorrow will be a day of experiences um so normally though on a sunday i would be basically doing work and doing stuff at the studio recording videos i won't be doing that so i'm actually it's a saturday now so i'm actually doing this in the evening so i don't have to worry about that tomorrow um and i can actually have that quality time with my wife so yeah i, I the reason i like that is because it was scripted there was a lot of things of what uh what they talked about in the lyrics that kind of resonated with me so i thought that was very cool um there was probably a small section in the song of around about the 11 and a half minutes to 13 minute where I just kind of, it it didn't keep my attention as much. It was an instrumental piece. It, it was very repetitive, but it wasn't like a an emotional repetitive like it was at the end where you got the piano piece, the general piano piece, which is kind of 
giving you a, a embracing you in an emotion this other piece was just kind of a musical piece so it didn't actually connect with me at that point but uh to be quite honest when it came back in and started carrying on with the story um uh, you forgot all about that so um yeah i'm really liked it i thought it was a great little track uh so big thank you to motion device big thank you to mike for supporting the channel and requesting this song uh now if you like this video please do subscribe to the bell icon like and share remember that of course is how dave does it